I mean, you kicked off the show tonight. What was going through your mind when you heard that you were going to be doing that? Oh my gosh, when I walked in and I saw that I was starting the show off, you know, it was just like, you know, you take a deep breath and you're like, okay, this is the way it is. And so you just start thinking as the opening act. And I have not done that before on the show. And um, I didn't know where to go to to settle myself in. So I just started breathing, <laughs> running lyrics through my head, choreography, everything. But it's a huge honor. It was a, a complete huge honor to be able to open up the voice doing an I Can Tina song. I mean, pretty freaking huge. That's huge. That's huge. But I reached out to my fan base from Twitter to Instagram, Facebook, all the social media and I was like, what should I do this yeah. week, you know? I mean, covered so many different things. Right. And so I got so many people saying, you've got to do some Tina. Do some Tina. And um, that's you what did I did. It. Yeah, well, I mean, and this is an emotional night for you because you had your mom in the audience. Yes. Were you able to look at her during the performance, or was there a part of you where, like, if I look at her, I'm going to lose it and not be able to be Sandra? I was really torn between should I look at her or should I not? But then when I did take a look at her, I felt stronger because it's something that I've wanted for so many years um, of my life. So to finally have her face in the audience with that stamp of approval that I'm here for you and I don't just support you at home and through the phone but I want to sit here and watch and see what you do um, at the end of the song I just couldn't contain it anymore it was it was a bit much tears of joy just the show has brought my family together it has changed my mom's perspective and, and it's just amazing to have this moment and I mean when you have that kind of hot personal high are you in the back of your mind are you thinking is there any way I can ever top this um, well, you always wonder, can you ever do better than your last performance? But at the same time, you know you've got to do better than your last performance. So it's like, what can we do next week? Yeah. Um, if I'm voted through, there's definitely some amazing ideas. We're going to move it up into the millennium, do some current stuff and just rock it. Yeah. I mean, does it change your mindset when you know that three of the of the eight performers are going home tomorrow? It definitely makes you nervous. Um, there will be some moments of anxiety, um, <laughs> but um, just very glad to be here in this moment in time. And if America continues to vote me through, I continue to um, I, continue, I want to continue to represent them in the way that I would want to, that they would want to be re represented, and that's excellent. Just even thinking about going home kind of just threw me off for a second. It's very hard to think about it because three people will go home, there will be four in the bottom, and then we have to sing our songs to save us, and it's just like, oh my gosh, that's a tough thing. Um, whether it's me or whether it's anyone else, we're all very close, so it's very hard to even think about that moment.